Alright everyone, what is going on you guys? We are here with an Apex Raid. No, 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 we don't want to do address. We want to look at the brand new one. All of that, that icon is so awesome. The the red and yellow colours. Oh, we get to see a bit more of Refinantum in that incubator. You can see the arms a tiny bit. That minion is beefy, almost 10k out. Could be a boss in itself. We've got the Accio Theorem. Not as good as Entelodon, which is, I am grateful for. Now, we've got a bunch of new things. We've got the Alert Abilities, which are part of the flock creatures too. This will be a new Aspect to Rage, which will be very fun to see. Um, It only works at 37,000 health, so when threatened, it will distract you more. Now, let's... uh. That's super distraction. Oh, I want to get back to that. But let's look at the incubator. Of course, I, I we can kind of expect what's coming. We've got basically all of those in there. But yeah, let's take another look at uh, that super distraction. Now, if you look extremely carefully, right? Look at Refrenantum's speed. It is 125 speed, and this isn't really related to Super Distraction, but another brand new move that Refrenantum has that will appear in round 2 or 3, I guess. And that is the Instant Nullify. Now, this is going to really annoy a lot of you with Turamolix, because, yeah, Turamolix has 126 speed, so if it speeds up, and then Refrenantum goes Instant Nullify, which will work directly after that, your speed up will be useless. You cannot speed that up, because your acceleration, that's just going to get nullified by Refinantum. So the only thing that could really speed up is Serum Magnus, which is a problem, because Serum Magnus isn't a healer. So, I can see how this is going to be a problem for many Turmolic users. Are the strats going to differ? Are we going to stop using Turmolic in this Refinantum Dilophosaur raid? Oh, we'll see. I'm sure... Tiramol, it could still work. It, it doesn't look like that hard of a boss. It's pretty good, though. I, it, it's going to be awesome. I know it. Oh, that super distraction as well. Oh, that's a game changer for Cunnings. I'm sure it will be. Instant impact. Basically, stun whatever you want. You, you've basically got it. You've got the whole Cunning kit in one move, which is great. Anyway, we've got this raid right here that I wanted to do. I was invited by Craig, and I decided I'd just use Dilophosaur against the Carnotaur because, you know, Refrenantum's coming, and this is going to be a video talking about Refrenantum, so let's use all the Dilophosaurus moves, Impact, then Rampage, then the Strike, hopefully, and Carnotaur should be gone within those moves, which will be good. Yeah, the Refrenantum... I don't think it's going to be the strongest. I reckon Gorgo Trebax will remain the toughest raid. But, you know, I still think that Super Distraction is going to be a pain in the butt. Along with the instant nullification it will have. Because, my goodness, that is going to annoy a lot of Turamolic players. What other things could you use besides Turamolic? Because... I reckon people who are making the raid strats, they'll be... Because we all know that some abilities will go over our heads and we'll just ignore them. And it, we basically fail the raid and our strats don't work. So we've kind of got to think around this. We can't speed up when Refrenantum goes for that. We'll have to either heal or slow down. Either way, we'll be slower than most of the minions, I assume, because most of the raid creatures we bring are under 132 speed and all the minions are above 132 speed so we could get attacked by the minions or possibly we could have strats where I'm trying to think would it be possible at all to kill that Nodosaurus in one hit almost 10k HP uh, either you're gonna get hit by the Nodosaurus or you're gonna get hit by the Nodosaurus <laughs> because in that last round, at least, because if you have Triastronics, right, you're going to increase Mortem's attack, I assume, doing about 
let's say, let's say I have a base of 3k damage. That's going to go up to 4,500 damage. Now, you're either using Ardentis or you're using Gemini. Or maybe Schooner because that got a buff. So you could be using that. Uh, they'll do about 6k. Which, not a Saurus. you got to think it's still got the 30% or 25%, 20% armor. You're not even going to finish it with those. Actually, Turmonic damage will probably, it probably would. But then when you get to round 3, you have no chance of instantly killing it if you, you're using that strategy. Uh, what could you use? If you replace Triastronics with Serum Magnus, maybe? Then you've like, like really, you know, you know, uh, it, you can't heal or cleanse the distraction. So it's going to be extremely, yeah, it's round three, I reckon, will be pretty difficult and it will tick a lot of us off. But, you know, uh, definitely I recommend shields a lot, even though it's got that nullifying. I don't think it has any nullifying base attacks, so I think you're good in that aspect, but the Accio Theorem, just be careful of that, because that will get rid of the shields if you're using them, and then they'll apply too, so it's going to be an annoying boss, but a lot of fun for making strats with. Anyway, the background gameplay we've got here is the combi strike from the weekend, I didn't have time to upload it because camp protagers and whatnot, I'm sure you will. Most of you all saw it. It was a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, there's many videos I wanted to do on it. I still might. I think maybe two. Maybe two more. Yeah, maybe. People liked them. They did. And, you know, there's something uh, that links in with Jurassic School Alive and how you want school this work. So, I kind of want to make a video on that and tell you all how you can unlock Scorpius Rex because it's going to be a new mechanic kind of it'll still be fusing creatures to make a hybrid but it'll be a new mechanic I'm sure yeah I reckon because we've got a lot of apex non-hybrids and then what if you saw my or heard my theory that parallax will fuse with comps of course to create an apex super hybrid so we've got non-hybrids and super-hybrids. I reckon Scorpius Rex is going to be the first hybrid Apex. So we'll, we'll have all the classifications. The non-hybrid, hybrid, and super-hybrid. Anyway, that's about all from me for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you're excited for Refinantin. I'll see you later. Bye, everyone.